Today's top athletes are pushing the physical abilities of humans to incredible levels, and new records are continuously set. But even if they're out there competing alone, there's almost always a team of people behind every athlete and every effort. Among these are the scientists that work on multiple levels to in many ways drive the evolution of sports forward. My name is Christian Finsgaard. I work with uh, Chalmers and sports and technology. My name is Maria Sandin and I'm doing research involving physics and technology and horse sports. I'm Miguel Nadewestman, professor in organic chemistry, has worked as a swim coach for 25 years. My name is Alexander Matic, I'm a professor in physics and here at Chalmers I also lead the area of material science where we started this sports and technology project. The Sports Technology Initiative is about applying our broad knowledge in natural science and engineering towards the sports sector. It's not just about one sport or one technology. It's amazing to realize how this actually works and how it can withstand all the powers that is put on it when horses jump or run where we try to improve the sports goods. With that information we can then try and work out how to apply it to our product to, to make sure that we can innovate and, and lead uh, in, our, in our product design. But also to use our uh, knowledge in measurement techniques to help athletes in the performance. Examples of projects we're working on now is to follow, for instance, the start in swimming uh, through high-speed uh, motion capturing. With the swimmers, we have done uh, three-dimensional analysis with the three-dimensional camera system together with a company called Qualysys. And also some students that are building sensor systems that are waterproof, so they can have it on their hands. And then we measure the pressure on the hands when they do the swimming. And from that we can sort of improve the technique. A project on, on sailing, on how to balance uh, racing yachts. We're heading out with some of the elite sailors in Sweden training for the Olympics. Many of the Olympic classes today are strict one design, so you can't alter the way that the hull or the rig or the sails are uh, manufactured. Here is an opportunity for us to, to look into how do you sail these classes more efficiently and to utilize the equipment that you have. You can heel the boat in different angles while sailing, back and forward and in the sideways. And uh, for us it was new that if you come really far back in the boat and get the boat standing on the back, that was the best in like over eight knots. So that was quite surprising for us because in the boat we feel that we are fastest when we are flat. And a third example is our work on equestrian sports. We can actually build sensors into standard textiles. So with these new smart textile sensors we can actually pick up the ECG through the fur of the horse. And uh, that's a world first actually. <laughs> Another very interesting project is to look for damage uh, in the hoof capsule. With a new method that's actually very well established, we use the heat conductivity to look for damage in the horse hoof. We can use not only material science, but mathematics, chemistry, nanotechnology, sensor technology uh, to improve the performance of athletes and also increase the well-being for people. We've come a long way, but at the same time, we've only scratched the surface of what we can do. If you like to get involved, check out the links below. We're always looking for more collaborators to take sports technology to the next level.